what's up my dudes these are my combo pickups for october 27th um real quick uh so last week was a short week um only picked up three books so it was a small week but i think something was going on with image where uh like their website was listing like the wrong books or just trades and not and then like for this week it was with like listing two like days worth or two wednesdays worth of comic books and I'm not sure what happened. Um, and then today when I went to the comic book shop, I wasn't able to get crossover. They actually had it there at the shop, issue nine, but they were told by image that, uh, to not to sell it. Apparently stores were selling other issues. I think like spawn gun ceiling or spawn was one of them like an incorrect date or they had messed up the mix and match the release date. So, um, yeah, I, I remember last week th saying, talking about this a little bit, but they, um, yeah, they got some something's going on with the image books where dates are wrong and they have to push back some stuff or some stuff got sent out and it has to be held. So like again, like crossover issue nine, I believe today was they had it there at the store, but they couldn't sell it to me because they were advised not to until next week. So yeah, something weird and strange is going on with the image books, but hopefully it gets sorted out soon. And I still haven't got my Compeasy issue too. They haven't received it in the store, so I'm thinking I'm just gonna order that online with a bunch of other books that I need to catch up on or order some so um anyway so we'll start off with uh marvel uh this is inferno issue two from jonathan hitman it's one of the only marvel books i'm picking up because it's jonathan hitman he's my favorite writer and inferno issue one was good um and i think the first issue was drawn by shitty which his art is great and then this one i want to say yeah stefano caselli who's also a great artist um so yeah, hopefully he keeps, I think it's only four issues. And I'm not sure who the other two artists are for the two issues, unless he's going to go back to Shitty and then Caselli. But um, yeah, man, Hickman always gets the good, the good artists, man. But yeah, issue one was cool and the art was good. And the, it looks like the art in this one's going to be great too. So then we're at Image Comics. We have um, Walking Dead issue 25, the deluxe. It's just the Walking Dead reprinted in color though now. Um, and Love the covers. I like these card stocks. Then we got um, Vino issue five. Then we got Time Before Time issue six. Been enjoying this book a lot. Then we got that Texas Blood issue number issue eleven. We got Echo Lands issue three, and um, this is that book that goes sideways, and it's cool because it still keeps the same size as. Um, a regular comic book so you can store it easy in a bin in a long box Let's see it's still about the same size so and i've been enjoying it a lot and again the cover cardstock is cool it's glossy I like it then we got oblivion song issue 34 from robert kirkman he's one another writer right now that's writing a few things i don't think he's writing as much as cullen bun but uh, robert kirkman you know he's pretty up there as far as putting out a lot of books here and there and then we got Mom Issue 3, Mother Madness. Um, I was saying this, I think, two weeks ago about that Berserker book with Keanu Reeves. So this one, Amelia Clark writes, and I think um, someone else writes it with her. Um, yeah, Mar Margaret Bennett. And the only issue I have with these type of books is you don't know how much the, like when they get like celebrities and famous people to write these books, you don't know how much they're really writing. Or how much they're really involved but this one it, it, it's been all right i think this is the last issue um i think i really enjoyed berserker but this one not as much but it, it's decent but like i said i just don't really know how much amelia clark is actually writing and putting into this but it's cool that, that there's more um famous celebrities that are getting into the comic book business like that so then we have um Jupiter's Legacy Requiem issue five from Mark Millar. Then we have Adventure Man issue six. Then we have Now We're in Boom. We have Once in Future Once in Future issue twenty one. Uh, we have Good Luck issue five, which is another book I've been enjoying, and Once in Future I've been enjoying, and I've been enjoying this as well. Pretty much every book I get, I enjoy enough to keep running. And then we have House of Slaughter issue one here, which is in the same um, world of uh, something's killing the children. 
And Something Killing Children, like I've stated before, that book blew up. And I'm glad I picked it up since day one. So I have all the issues and I've been enjoying that. So this should be pretty cool. Um, this little spinoff here. House of Slaughter, The Butcher's Mark, part one. And then a uh, book I just picked up off the table, Cross to Bear. Um, the guy at the shop was telling me about it, and it seemed pretty cool. Um, it's about a group called The Order, I believe, who go out and hunt or search for things. Or, like, I, I want to say, I guess, I don't know, myths, but, like, I think I was reading the, the summary about how no one's ever found Jack the Ripper because they never looked in the West and... You know, things of that nature, so. But the art looks pretty cool, and I'm going to give it a shot. We'll see if we add it. Now, if I had to pick one book for today, um, it's going to be House of Slaughter. Because uh, it's a spinoff, and I've really, really been enjoying um, something's been, something's killing the children. So, yeah, this would be my pick for the week. All right, thanks.